This is a tutorial video on the use of a Mobridge iPod kit. This particular vehicle is a 2004 BMW 5 Series. This vehicle does not support text across the CD changer interface, therefore we will not be able to view or browse the iPod with text display on the BMW iDrive screen. Currently we are listening to FM radio. In order to enter into the CD changer interface, we tab up into our sources menu and scroll over into CD. Within the CD changer interface, we see there are six discs available. Discs one through five will represent either the first five playlists on your iPod or playlists labeled disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five. CD6 is always Mobridge's setup and auxiliary audio menu. To listen to tracks off of CD1 or playlist one, we simply tap over to CD1, select it, then we select any of the 99 tracks within playlist one. You can change tracks by either using the buttons mounted on the in-dash CD player, the steering wheel control buttons, or rotating the iDrive knob. If you want to listen to tracks within CD2 or Playlist 2, simply tap over to CD2 and then select any one of the 13 tracks in this particular case off of Playlist 2. If you wish to unlock your iPod so that you can view and browse your mu music via the iPod itself, you need to enter into CD6. And once track 1 starts playing, indicated by the counter at the bottom right of the screen, on the CD player itself, we press and hold the uh, fast forward button for 2 to 3 seconds. Once we do this, the Mobridge logo will disappear off the iPod and the iPod uh, screen would unlock. I'll hold up the iPod around and demonstrate what happens. So our iPod just unlocked and now we have the ability to browse the music on the iPod itself. Once you select what playlist, album, or artist you want to listen to and you're within that folder, you can track up and down between various tracks within a given folder while utilizing the factory uh, track up and down buttons. So currently we're listening to uh, a particular song within a playlist. If we want to skip this song we can use the steering wheel buttons or the iDrive buttons to skip between tracks within that given folder. The numbers on the iDrive screen do not correspond to playlists or tracks within a playlist any longer. They're just an indication that you're browsing between tracks within a given folder on the iPod. If we want to lock the iPod once again, we go back to track 2 and again press and hold the fast forward button. So track 1 is unlocked, track 2 is locked. As you'll see, Now the, it says OK to disconnect and the Mobridge logo appeared on the iPod. The BMW iDrive system kicked us out of the CD changer interface as it reloads all the disks in there. So we get back in there. And now we've got our six CDs again. And that is how you browse your iPod utilizing the BMW with no CD changer tech support interface.